<laughs> Me again. That didn't take very long, did it? Um, I have uh, the great pleasure of introducing our host for this evening. Um, this is going to be uh, Rachel and Matthew Gaetano um, from Gaetano's Market and Deli. Um, and I think I see Julie there too. Very good. Okay, guys, you're muted right now. Hello. <laughs> Hi. So everybody, this is this is uh, the, the 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 family of Gaetano's Market and Deli. They have been open for almost soft five. opening. Yeah. Almost yeah. And then doing a grand opening next Wednesday mm -hmm. on St. Patty's Day, appropriately. Yes. Or inappropriately. Who so wouldn't want to have a grand opening of an Italian market on, <laughs> well, St. on St. Patty's Day? St. Patty's Day, exactly, exactly. It's not like we have an, a, an Irish market you're competing with. So. <laughs> we do sell wine, so. Yeah. <laughs> we don't Very have any good. green wine now. <laughs> <laughs> it's still time. you got almost a week to get, your, to get your order in. So, guys, you want to just go ahead and take it away and, and tell everybody what you're up to? Sure. Okay. Um, we, made a, we have a little presentation to share, so let me make sure I can do that. And then how do we get to uh, this is different than my slideshow? Right. Do you guys see a slideshow? Hello? Can you see a slideshow? Yeah. Yes, oh great. Right. Is it normal or do you see all kinds it's of it's normal. Okay. It's normal. It's got a it's got a preview of the next slide, but it's normal. Looks good. Nursing. Yeah, we don't want that. So let's just go to Yep. Perfect. Okay. All right. So this is our market. <laughs> Set commercial and ten. So these are just some examples. The, actually, the picture on the right is something one of our customers posted on Facebook after they came in and purchased some things from us. And I thought they did a beautiful job. So we wanted to include uh, some pictures of what people are doing with our products because that's part of what we wanted to do is just like, like it says, from our kitchen to yours, like we create some things to make it easier for you guys to create things with our products. Just a little bit about us. Um, my husband and I, Matthew and I, met in Santa Barbara at UCSB in the 90s, late 90s. And we started teaching in the Bay Area, and it got really expensive with all the dot-com boom. So we ended up going overseas and taught overseas for 18 years internationally, and our kids were born overseas. And we were in Italy for a couple of years and a lot of other places um, but yeah we ended up here in Astoria and we were planning on making this a summer home but then we really really liked it and so we decided to pivot and figure out a way to stay <laughs> and I came to the area in 2019 from Phoenix I had been teaching there for six years uh, I taught for a total of 10 years so that was my second career I'm on to my third um, but I came up here and I taught for a year in Seaside. It was a temporary position and due to all the events, they didn't have another position available. So when everything was kind of shut down, we all started cooking together in the kitchen. Well, we always did that, but we were doing it more. Um, and I'd kind of always wanted to open some sort of Italian market, um, but I never thought I could do it. So Matthew and Julie being here kind of, you know, made that a reality. And, just all of us working together made it seem a lot more feasible. Uh, we used to go to this market called Claro's with my dad, so that gave us a lot of ideas um, about things we wanted to carry and what we wanted to make. A lot of the recipes we use are from my dad and his family, and Julie's family has some, right? We have some, yeah. So we, we like to use a lot of our family recipes in, in what we're producing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, my. It was like day one. Yeah. <laughs> got the keys. That was the day we got the keys. You can notice the beautiful glitter wall in the background because this used to be a salon. So it's pretty amazing the transformation. Julie was a rock star on the scaffolding mm -hmm. because Matthew and I are terrified of heights. <laughs> so she had to do the, all the up high painting for us. <laughs> and the hanging of the picture is up high too. <laughs> And so far to date, our best seller has been the meat lasagna. Um, when we first opened, we had about a week where our equipment wasn't functioning well. So Julie rolled all the noodles by hand on a little machine constantly because <laughs> like we wanted to carry some fresh pasta. And also we use fresh pasta in the lasagna. So most of it went to lasagna so we could keep some on the shelf. And then she was making fettuccine. But now we have all of our... Um, equipment functioning, so that makes us feel pretty happy. We have a slicer, we're a deli, and our slicer went down, and we also say we make fresh pasta and our extruder broke. So, <laughs> it was, now we have everything. We some highs and lows. Yeah. <laughs> we had to quickly reduce our hours. Right. We were, we were staying till one in the morning and coming in at seven in the morning, <laughs> and mentally that was not working for us. <laughs> so, um, the lasagna also, we use our, our house-made sausage and the meat lasagna. Mm -hmm. So it's our house-made pasta, house-made meat, uh, everything we produce here. We just don't make the cheese or grow tomatoes. That's it. Right. <laughs> so along with the lasagna, we do fresh pasta, as we just talked about. Um, we do different kinds. We had some requests lately for bucatini, so we're going to get a bucatini extruder to do fresh bucatini. But we have fettuccine, fusilli, rigatoni, um, and spaghetti. And uh, we also make our own sausages. So we have uh, mild Italian or sweet Italian. We have hot Italian. Uh, a garlic rosemary is a unique Astoria creation. We live on the South Slope and we were part of a socially distanced bingo group uh, during the quarantine period. That was our one time to get out of the house and we all spread along Valley Road and had a megaphone to do the bingo call. And we, we brought what was originally a garlic sausage for people to test and try. And then we got input and it actually has more than rosemary in there too. It has some chives and some other spices. And it was kind of a collaborative thing that was born on the South Slope. Uh, <laughs> on Valley Street. <laughs> on Valley Street. So it's the garlic rosemary and it happens to be our biggest seller. It's fantastic. Um, we also have a bratwurst and that was uh, walking. Another suggestion. We, we were walking along the South Slope and someone said, you're the sausage people, right? <laughs> do you guys do a, a bratwurst? And so we thought giving uh, to Julie's German heritage <laughs> that we could come up with a bratwurst also. Uh, we also have some others that we haven't put out yet. We have a Greek Lukanika sausage that has some uh, orange zest in it. And we have for the summer, a South African boar wars. And that's like, you just sell the whole coil and it's perfect to bring to your campground and throw on the grill. Huh. So we have some other sausages we'll, we hope to and the unveil. French sausage and the too, French. we have a French sausage. So we like to go all around Europe and the world, kind of. <laughs> And there's a chicken and oh, yeah. sun-dried tomato one that I we saw? Have two chicken varieties, so our chicken Italian, which is our chicken with the mild Italian seasonings in it, and our chicken sun-dried tomato, which has sun-dried tomato and fresh onion and some other special ingredients in it. Okay. So we wanted to make some chicken sausages as well. That chopped up in some fresh fresh pasta sounds amazing. <laughs> right. <laughs> We've seen a lot of that on social media. Yeah. People put the foods they make and it's wonderful. So we use our deli case of meats and cheeses to create some sandwiches. And we went around to different bakeries and the Blue Scorcher won the contest. And <laughs> <laughs> they... Uh, they create our ciabatta rolls and they, it was a special creation just for for us 
I think they might be selling it in the more traditional shape in the future. But right now you can only get it here at, at Catano's Market in Delhi. Yeah, it's so. perfect. It is absolutely the perfect bread for those. For those. I haven't had a hot one yet, but that uh, that that one in the in the upper picture there, um, fantastic. Right, and uh, one that's covered in cheese is our, our meatball sub. So that, that uses uh, our house-made meatballs, which is a mix of our sausage and uh, ground chuck and seasoning. So, and our special sauce as well. So a lot of our sandwiches are created, sliced straight out of our deli case. So we use the same meat uh, in our sandwiches that you can buy and take home and make your own sandwiches. And so there's our deli meats and cheeses. And a lot of our cheese case is developed based on customer requests. So it's uh, maybe it, out of the three of us, that's maybe our weakest link was the cheese part. So we're learning a lot about cheeses. Mm -hmm. And when you request that we cut a pound and we accidentally cut a pound and a half, then we take that little <laughs> extra piece in the back <laughs> and, and learn about our different that cheese. cheeses. So <laughs> it's a fun way to learn. And uh, yeah, when customers make requests and we get a couple of them in, then we look for that and, and stock it. So. Initially, we realized our initial selection was almost exclusively cow milk. And we had customers come in who couldn't take cow milk or couldn't digest. So we've added goat and sheep's milk cheeses. And one of our more popular is a customer request is a, the queso manchigo. So uh, that's a Spanish cheese. And we're fond of all things Mediterranean, not just Italian. <laughs> That's excellent. So there's a, a picture of our market. Um, so we're stocking items that are hard to find. Um, one thing people have commented on is our lady fingers to make tiramisu. They can't find them anywhere. Um, some of the items like sweetie, sweetie drops, uh, peppers, I think they were carried in the old uh, folios uh, when, when they were running a deli because people kept getting excited about these sweetie drops. It's <laughs> like, where do you hear about these? And they're like, Julio's used to run a deli. And we're like, yeah, we talked to him before we opened, but we didn't know what his product line was. Right. So, um, and customers make requests. And part of the joy of running the market is trying to hunt down providers and find new products. Some of our products just came when we were touring other Italian markets in Portland. We have these great biscotti that I, I came across in Portland. And uh, it's a woman in Marysville, Washington, who makes them and they're absolutely delicious. Yeah. And I think her tagline is like, not your grandmother's, not your grandmother's hard, hard biscotti. Bis biscotti. <laughs> so they have, they're a little softer and lots of different flavors. and. Uh, we love them as much as our customers do. And there's other odd items that aren't Italian, like boat sauce, mm -hmm. which is a sauce developed in Portland. And uh, people ask about that and we're like, well, we were just touring our supplier and they talked about it so much that we decided we wanted to carry boat <laughs> sauce. <laughs> and then I like to make paella, so I made sure we had the rice and the all the things that you need. We just started carrying the tr the hard chorizo because um, you can never find that anywhere. So uh, we have all those things and it's kind of fun just to have items that you can't find anywhere else and now you don't have to substitute. Will there be an opportunity for you to, well, maybe you're getting there, that, to sort of teach us how to make things like paella? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We will get to that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So we just put, um, you know, we, we had a great response on social media to our opening. Um, the community has been super supportive, even with our down deli slicer and everything in the first week. Um, we've had so many people post things like this that say, you know, they put their Dungeness crab from Bell Bowie and they got pasta Made their from own here. Alfredo. Mm -hmm. And so it's neat to see the creations that people come up with and 
Julie and I are supposed to be the marketing team and, uh, <laughs> with our 16 hour days production uh, we haven't got around to it. So the community has really helped us out by posting their pictures and their comments and it's sharing been, what they're doing. It's been <laughs> uplifting for us and it's uh, better than a shot of caffeine to keep us going. <laughs> Because one of the things that we want to do, like you said, um, eventually is kind of even put little recipe cards next to items so you know what items to buy to create a meal at home. Um, things like the recipe cards, pizza, kit. pizza kits. Right. So we just started making uh, our own pizza dough and we want to get things to carry so you could come in and it's kind of like you're making a pizza at home, but you already had all the ingredients you know, that are easy. We have pepperoni in the deli case and you know, just make it something easy, but that you get to participate in creating as well. I'm at home and I just heard my wife from the other room cheering for the pizza dough. So <laughs> <laughs> the sold one. There you go. Right. It kind of goes along with our tagline right. from our kitchen to yours. So using products from here to be creative and to, you know, take it to the next step once you get home. Okay, good. And so here's some pictures from social media and what people are saying about it. And there's some people who just have the lasagna, some people who made their own charcuterie board, and, and there's someone who put together their own kind of uh, pasta using the Alfredo sauce and the sausage and the pesto. So it's kind of all of our ingredients they bought here, but they mixed it in ways that we haven't thought of before. So right. it's a, neat to see what other people are doing with our products Beautiful. and then it's kind of the reverse where people are teaching us <laughs> I having conversations with your customers that's what you want to do i think we just wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you to the many businesses in the downtown community we're working with lucy's books to uh, carry some italian cookbooks we're working with the Blue Scorcher for our bread and baguettes. We're working with Pat's Pantry to make our spice blends for our sausages so we don't have to measure it out every time we do it. And we know they have high quality spices. Um, Dennis, who bought Pat's pa Pantry, also made our table um, in our entryway. He's an excellent carpenter and a really nice guy. Um, we also had uh, I just feel that we, when we were opening, we actually just went into other businesses and asked them how they did things. You know, we found out we had to do a change of use and we talked to, you know, we knew that the Capricorn moved to another building that had a different use and like everybody's just been so willing to help us out. And he came over and told us what we needed to do and like helped us get through that process. And we just would go to different businesses and chat with people and everybody's been so willing to just share information and they've been so welcoming into the community here. So we're really happy and I don't think we could have opened a business in a better community at all. I am. Also, yeah. our first visit was to the Chamber of Commerce. So yeah. <laughs> and David actually pointed us in the right direction, right? <laughs> so we all walked down there like we've never opened a business. We have this idea. And, <laughs> and also he, he put us in touch with the SBDC who's been instrumental in us going from being teachers to now business owners. So yeah. that's been great. Good. And I think I told you then that there, there are people that want you to be successful and you managed to, to, to make contact with a lot of them. Um, yeah. right. Some of them intentionally, some of them just because you just needed that one piece of information. But what you started out with was with a, was a was a fan club right of people who knew what you were up to wanted you to be successful if they've given you advice now they have sort of a stake in the thing so i'm glad that you're getting this reception i i i like to think that it's a reception that all businesses should get when they open up in our community um but i'm, I'm thrilled that you got it local businesses giving us gifts you know yeah. today we got some soup from good to go <laughs> when they were visiting and brought us cookies we mentioned how much we love their hungarian mushroom yes. soup and 
today it just <laughs> appeared in our store. Where did you get so, it? Right <laughs> at closing time so we could eat it, right? Ice right? cream yeah. from Free oh, Food Scoop man. and a bottle of wine from Brute right next door. And so all it's these gifts love, and, yeah. and things that uh, we just keep pinching ourselves and saying we couldn't have found a more supportive community to open a business. Good. So that. That, that sense of community and being part of the Astoria Downtown and Historic District Association has also led us to new things and we're part of the initial group joining the North Coast Food Trail. Yes, you are. Excellent. So, and that all came from the ADHDA yeah. and being part of that. So those associations with the chamber and uh, have uh, just been great for us and have helped us Whenever we hit a roadblock, there was always somebody to show us the way. And we probably forgot lots of people. <laughs> we could probably sit here and name a thousand more businesses, but um, it's just been great. Good. And so, good. I'm glad glad to hear that. We have some questions in the in the Q and A. Can I ask them of you guys? Should we? We can, we can out, take this, this off. Yeah. 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 Or you can leave that up. Either, either way. If you hit share again, it'll go away. Share again. Okay. It's like a, a big old. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So Bailey, um, who is um, with TLC Fiber Federal Credit Union, Bailey said, my boyfriend's family is Italian and they go to Southern Italy every year to visit family. They call their red sauces gravy. Is that a real thing or, is it, or are they just crazy? That is a thing. <laughs> it is. It's usually Sunday gravy because it's typically made on a Sunday. Um, so in, in Italian families, they do call it gravy. Okay. All right. <laughs> and you do have sauces to go. Okay. We do. We have a red sauce with meatballs and sausage in it, and we have a vegetarian. We do have the gravy there. Yeah, the gravy. <laughs> we have a, the same sauce, but without the meat, so it's a vegetarian. And then we make pesto, alfredo, and arrabbiato sauce okay. now, which is like a spicy marinara. Oh, I love that. Excellent. Excellent. So, so we've been trying to cater to vegetarian and meat eaters, so we can do both. Right. We do carry some gluten-free pasta, but we can't Make produce it. it. Um, <laughs> yeah. We'll leave gluten-free to the green door right down the street right. on 10th Street. <laughs> yeah. but, but you can pick up a box of gluten-free ah. pasta somebody else made, so Excellent. we do carry it. Excellent. Yeah, so you're, you're getting that, that sort of... Um, New business owner feedback from your customers. You're responding to it. Your 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 you know your offerings are going to change as a result of sales, but also of people coming in asking you for things. So I, I love the fact that you guys are being so um, so versatile in in that way. You you're working like crazy right now. Um, you know. So what is on the long term horizon? What things do you think? Okay this might be the next evolution or the one after that, or have you even had time to, to breathe long enough to think oh, about that? We, do. we have lots and lots of ideas that <laughs> actually, when we were opening, we had to sit down and go, okay, we can't do everything that we want to. So we have to pick what we're going to start with and then gradually introduce things that when we know we can get a handle on this, plus we can also see what's selling and what the community wants. So our next step is going to be, we're going to offer some desserts. We had some, uh, extra virgin olive oil chocolate cupcakes out today. So that was our first one that we had. Uh, we'll be introducing cannoli sometime after the grand opening. So maybe on grand opening day. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't make any promises yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I said maybe. <laughs> we're, we're we're almost ready for that. So. Well, I was joking the other day because we've had people who come in and do you have cannoli? No, and then and they they'll leave. leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they're looking for. So we're like, there's going to be a lot of people looking for cannoli. Yeah. So maybe charge like fifty dollars. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what the market will Only bear. The people who really want it. <laughs> Get your early adopters. <laughs> <laughs> you have to really want these cannolis. But they're worth it. <laughs> we don't want to start working till one a.m. Exactly. Again, so. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Stick stick to what you can what you can handle. But there is some growth happening uh, already. So we're thinking post COVID yeah. to do some cooking classes, um, both for adults and uh, to bring in our our experience working with children to offer maybe a children's oh, yeah. cooking course as well. That's great. So parents can bring their kids or drop them off or 
something like that. So that's kind of ideas we're looking for in the future. Um, a lot of people have asked about dine-in, and that's kind of a, our bathroom is through our production area. So we're talking with our inspector and looking at ways that maybe you could stay and enjoy something, but we can't promise that yet. Um, so it's a bigger, a it's a bigger lift impressive. than people think, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. And with summer coming up, the, we want to create picnic kits so that you can just come in and pick up maybe just some um, meats and cheeses with a bottle of wine that's already put together for you. Um, and you can take it to the column or down to the beach or down to the river walk and just enjoy it there with a bottle of wine or, well, with or without. Well, sell <laughs> kits with or without. You can't drink a bottle of wine at the river walk, but... Um, we want to just have things that make it easy for people to come in and pick something up and, you know, also have things that you don't have to assemble. Maybe it would come with a couple sandwiches or meats and cheeses. Okay. Does our Viata have garlic in it? Everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> this is a garlic allergy garlic question. Allergy. We've had a couple of people ask. and uh... The sun-dried tomato chicken sausage does not have garlic. <laughs> the sun-dried tomato <laughs> chicken sausage and does not. And the fresh pasta and, yes. and the sliced meats and cheeses. Um, but our sauces, we always say you measure garlic with your with heart. Your heart. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more questions from the from the team in the Q&A over there. One is, I don't think it's Italian cheese, but do you carry Mizithra? Mizithra cheese. It's, in, it's not in the chat, it's in the Q&A. Oh, oh, okay. Um, Can you spell yeah. that? <laughs> M-I-Z-I-T-H-R-A. Oh, the middle one. We can look into it. <laughs> right. We do have some non-Italian cheese. Yeah. We do have some Spanish cheese. We got in some Gouda the other day. We have... Um, that's the one that's with the Asiago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And, so we and some of our cheeses are from the Northwest and, uh, you know, Sleeping Beauty and uh, things like that. So Very cool. We're open to looking at different cheeses. Locally as well. Okay. Lauren asked if you're Someone looking to hire. We're looking to hire, yeah. and we are in talks um, about that. So initially we thought we could wait till summer, but now we don't think we can wait that long. <laughs> so we're looking into the... The issues involved, the insurance and payroll, and, payroll all and all that kind of stuff, and trying to decide how to best use somebody, what the job description would look like, um, things like that. And With it, virtual cooking, yeah. Yeah, we haven't got around to that yet, but that's a great yeah. idea mm -hmm. to think about. And I did, I should have previewed before we started banging you with questions on this, but the uh, um, you as business owners are allowed to say, um, we're not prepared to talk about that yet, or you know, it's, just, it's a trade secret. You don't have to reveal everything that's going to be on the on the business after hours. So, good. Okay. Um, what else do you want people to know? That, that there's a there's a ribbon cutting coming up on on uh, the seventeenth, right? At ten. At ten a.m. We will be expanding our hours after that, so we can catch some of the after work. We're, we feel we're in a good spot that we can do that now. Okay. <laughs> um, so we'll be open till six um, after that ribbon cutting. So we'll do ten to six instead of eleven to four. Do you? Except Sunday, <laughs> we're keeping Sunday. Keeping <laughs> <11 laughs> Sunday for you. Yeah. What about um, the number of people that can be in the store at one time? Do you have limits on that right now? We we're do. limiting it to six at okay. the moment. But we have been. Yeah. Well, we're trying yeah. to trying so, to make today sure. we had a bit of a lunch rush. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and I think some people didn't see the sign, but we're we want to keep it to six because it does get fairly. You know, we have a big table in the middle, and if you're walking around either side, right. we just want to make sure that we can maintain the social distance. Good. So and we have the the sanitizer from the chamber at yes. the entryway. Thanks. A lot of people yeah. are using that. And, um, glad 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 that helped out. Um, so those of you who are who are in the audience today, um, help them keep those numbers right. Don't 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 crowd them. Um, wait wait our turns. But they got a nice little vestibule outside. So even if it's raining, um, and today it was a great day to sort of sort of wait out there. So um, be patient. Um, and they do a fantastic job. So I would say if you can make it to the ribbon cutting, come hungry. 
because um, you'll find you'll find something there. And those those fresh sandwiches are stunning. They're amazing. So cool. All right. Anything else you want people to know? That's about it. Yeah. For yeah. Now. Hopefully by the time of the grand opening, our website will launch. We're hoping to join Slurpalicious as well. Right. Uh, so people can get delivery for things, sandwiches and pastas and sauces. Oh, that's perfect. And, uh, that's perfect. Yeah, so we're hoping to expand to offer that. And uh, our website, we'll, hope we'll have a square website where you can pre-order and, and pay online and pick up your food when you come Excellent. in. Um, we'll have limited products online as well that you can shop online. Um, buy some things and then have it ready when you get here. good deal good deal okay so everybody knows where you are you're at the northeast corner of 10th and commercial in downtown Astoria correct okay. right yep. all right <laughs> yeah we're trying to convince people that downtown doesn't start at 11th street right <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of great businesses down here on 10th we um I, I've was with the business development committee for the ADHDA for a long time. And we, we really, in our research of, of retail downtowns, um, there are anchors, right? There are, there are epicenters. And from that, you, you generate foot traffic around there. I think you guys are going to turn out to be one of those epicenters. Um, so, so if there was, if there was a, a limited number of, of people foot traffic on 10th street, I'm guessing that's going up astronomically with you guys there but it, it ties the whole thing together right you, you you put enough of these points through throughout a downtown and people start to walk around and it alleviates the parking quote unquote problem people say we don't have parking downtown astoria we've got plenty of parking downtown astoria if you if you're trying to park directly in front of gaetano's you might not find a spot right but if you if you're going to gaetano's and you're going to you know um Purple Cow, and you're going to Wells Fargo, whatever it is, you, you've got the, you know, you don't care where you park at that point. And there's plenty of parking right. in that case. So, so that's, that's fantastic. So glad to hear you guys are doing well. Glad to hear you're enjoying it and you're not too, uh, too wiped out by, the, <laughs> by your success. Um, it really is the best job I've ever had. Good. We think we're having a good time. It's really good fun. Deal. Right. So I'm going to send it back to the tables. Um, and then we're going to, we're going to, so people will have, want to ask you questions. I'm sure if you want to join them at, at, at some of the tables and, uh, and then in just a few minutes, we're going to do a couple of giveaways and then we'll do the cash pot drawing, which is $350. Tonight. Yeah. So yeah, oh, go ahead. We actually forgot. We wanted to do a trivia question for a gift card. Can we do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good. Let's uh, people answer in the chat, please. Okay. It's a race. So the question, we'll start with this it's one, tricky. it might be hard, but what was the name of the market that we used to go to with our dad that gave us ideas to open this? It, this is a tough one. <laughs> you had to really listen. <laughs> <laughs> or be from LA. <laughs> Nobody's answering. I want to say, I want to say it was Capo. Close. Close. <laughs> it, it, it was Clara. Oh, Clara, but, okay. Uh, Look with another question. Um, what's our top selling item currently? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think you got Rachel. If, if the answer is lasagna, you, you got Rachel. <laughs> That's Rachel. Rachel. Yeah. Nice to yeah. see you tomorrow. <laughs> We have an oh, appointment yeah, with Rachel with you, so you tomorrow. Can pick it up tomorrow. So, so you can pick it up tomorrow. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Now okay. We're... Cool. All right. I'm going to send it back to the tables. And uh, um, you know what? Before we do that, I want to give away. I want to give away a uh, four pack of uh, Fort George Vortex beer. Can I do that? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I've got the. I've got a. I've got a magic spinning wheel here. It's super cool. And the winner is Bailey Roberts. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to send it back to the tables. Here we go. Oh, 